situation is we're over here at Cork today. That is, uh, Cork is uh, Cusarama Cafe with my friend Pete, where the only two words that really matter is fuck off. That's right, fuck off, because the situation has arised where you got to be that way. You got to tell people out there, fuck off, because you get to the point where you just don't give a shit anymore. We got a, a special guest, her name's Brandy, Triple Breezy 3 Brandy, and she said that the man screwed her around. She said the man screwed her around, stuck it up uh, where it shouldn't have went, and let's see what Brandy has to say about that. And uh, she said the man, I'm thinking she's talking about the cops, but I don't know, because when she said the man, I figured it's time to get cork out. Here we go. <laughs> What's, what's really going down? But, so, excuse me, sir? Excuse me. Hey, yes, what are you, where's I'm, your candy bar, bud? Hey, dude, it's gone. <laughs> you suck, God, you suck hey. that down like a toothpick, dude. Hey, man, that chocolate's good, dude. What's up, Brandy? Okay, so what did Hold happened? on, what happened now? You're saying something about the man. Are you talking Johnny Law? No, not Johnny State Law. State troopers. No, just businesses in general. Okay, so you're talking the corporation guy, the big man. Yeah, Okay, I guess. what happened? So, I went to... Lease a home, okay? okay? So you know how you have to fill out an application? Okay, because you came over last time and said that y'all were going to move from right. one part of town to another part of town. and Right. Uh, because your kids go to school in that other part of town and you're right. tired of traveling and driving. So what you're doing is you're looking for a new house. Right. Okay, what happened? So I found a home for lease, okay, nearby the school. Uh-huh. So I went in. I was going to put in a rental application. You have to fill out an application so that you can, they'll do a background check right. on you, basically. Right. And so, put in our application, send all the information over, payroll, subs. Because you work, you've got a good job. You're a professional in your job qua qualification, right? Right. You're like up there hey, on dude, the top hold line. On. Can she you carries... shut, put a cork in it, sir? She carries a big gun. Dude. Okay, can you put a cork in it? Cork right, it, Bob. All right, right, man. She well. Do you see what kind of nut jobs I got to deal with over here? Do you see this situation? I see what's got? going on. So I put in my application. I sent all the paperwork in. Okay. Waited and I waited and I waited some more. And so. Now, how long you been waiting? Uh, it was about a, a week month? and a half. No, it was like a week and a half. That's plenty of time. Okay, so what you're basically saying is it's just a run of the mill. You put your application in. You do this, that, and the other. It's an easy, simple situation. Anywhere basically. you go, it's your basic. Yeah. Uh, we need to make sure that you're going to be able to pay the rent. Right. I didn't hear anything back, so I called the guy, and I said, what's going on with my application? And they said, well, um, we didn't do your application wow. because um, we didn't receive your driver's license. And I said, okay, you didn't, well, didn't you put that on your application? Correct. I sent everything huh. over. Wow. And I said, well, why didn't you call me and tell me you didn't receive my driver's license? And I've been sitting here for almost two weeks now, and nothing is going on. Well, we already leased the now, property. You've already leased it? What are you talking about, they, Lease? How can you lease it when he ain't even okay to qualify it, Randy? He leased it to somebody else. Oh, they leased it to somebody else. Did you hear that, monkey man? Hey, two for one, baby. Two or three for one, I'm sure. I can't believe that. So hey. they took my money. Now, was he smart mouth with you, Brandy, or was he nice about it, or was he like, he was nice you know, about so it. what? Who gives a shit? He, he hey, nice hold on, it. cut. Time out. You know what? That's a big thing about corporations. You know, in this country, everybody that has a mortgage, that the bank has sold off your mortgage to a foreign uh, country. You don't have to throw your hands hey, out like that, dude. You're China. Hit me in the face, okay. Bro. Hey, Take China. It China. Take China. Easy with the hand talk there, monkey. Got hey, it. dude. China's bought all of our mortgages. Some Chinese dude owns our houses. So, to make a long story short, the banker is collecting double. Okay. okay, he's collecting Thank you. from us. Anyway, what happened, Brandy? So I told him, I said, well, if you didn't run my background, then that means I should get my money back. Oh, hold on. You actually gave him money? Yeah, yeah. How much yeah, did she get? Just told you she but I didn't hear because Monkey was talking. Hey, dude, she just told you she rented it. I didn't hear because you're too busy eating another candy bar. Hey, they're good, too, dude. Uh, you're too busy eating another candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, how much did you give him, Brandy? 80 bucks. Okay, so you gave him, this is uh, for your, okay, for, hold on, let me get this straight, all right? Mm -hmm. You walk in and you say, hey, I want to rent your property. Okay, we need to run a credit background check. It's an $80 fee to do that. Right. You give them the money, you give them all your information. You go back two weeks later, well, we haven't ran your credit. I want my fucking money back since you haven't done that. What's up with that? He said, well, uh, I'll have to check with the broker and find out if we can do that. I said, I don't know why you couldn't. Because you, you just said that you didn't run my yeah, credit. He exactly. just said that. He just said that. But My thing is, if you didn't render any services, then I should... You now, what was your attitude money. toward him, Brandy? What was your attitude? Being uh, in the position of the job qualification that you are, can we tell everybody? You're an armed guard. That's right. For the corporation. Right. For okay. the corporation. What, now, what so. did you do for it? Did you, were, did you back down from him, act like a sissy, or did you get in his face and say, I want my fucking money? <laughs> no, I was on the phone with him, and I told oh, him, I okay. said... Oh, okay, it's a phone just, conversation. Right. I said, you just told me that you didn't run my background check, right. and therefore, since you didn't render any service, I want my money back. And he said, well, I'll talk to the broker. I don't see why they wouldn't give it to you back. I'll find out, because it was on a Friday, and I'll let you know. I said, okay. So I waited, and I waited. I gave him 48 hours, and I started calling. And so they're basically ignoring me. I talked to like 40 different people up there. Susie Q, who has the IQ of a post-it note. Okay, her name, Susie, the phone. her name is Susie Q? I know, that's the name oh, I've given her. Oh, that's, that's the name. Oh, okay, you're name. throwing that in that's saying the new name. she's a dumbass. Yeah, she's okay, a dumbass. Okay, she's the dumbass, and her name's Susie Q with no IQ. Right. Okay, now she, we got it. So she transfers me to accounting. Accounting never calls me back. So this is like three or four weeks ago. Oh, Still wow. haven't heard anything back. Wow. So I called the Denton Sheriff's Office. He told me I'd have to take The other man. Me. Yeah, the other man. Okay. I said, what, what can I do? He said, you're going to have to take them to small claims court. Wow. He said, it's going to cost you more to take them to court than, than to what they owe you. forget about it. Basically. Fucked in the ass. Easy, easy, <laughs> Jesus. That's what happened. Easy, Brad. I know you're pissed yeah. off, but come on. Let's <laughs> have the You know what? We got this hey. guy behind us over here. Let's get his egg on. Because you know what? He's had six years of college, business college, and he knows all about it. Right. Let's ask his opinion. Let's go, let's go for it. What's up, loser weekly guy? Can you comment on the situation going on here, buddy? <laughs> been sitting back there patiently listening very quietly you're the guy you're the college degree guy over here what's going on what's going on terms and conditions it's a non-refundable fee why is that she didn't get her credit check it don't matter they didn't check her credit i know loser. But their position will be and this is how you got fucked it's non-refundable period so how many people did they do that to how many people did they do that to? I know. I know. Scandalously just wanted to take their money, and they already had the property rented anyway. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, but I know how many. Whoever gives it up. <laughs> <laughs> so would you say hey, Brandy got hey, the cork? You yeah, think well, Brandy I, got the cork on that one? The man loves sticking it in your ass. It's how he gets so rich. That's, That's why he's rich, and we're yeah, poor, and we're working at 9 o'clock at night, and he's at home. Watching Netflix. Yeah, he got 80 bucks just by, you know. For doing nothing. For doing nothing. <laughs> for basically telling Brandy to uh, fuck over off. Over yeah. Over yeah. Over well, so over let's put it this way. Let's ask him, let's ask him, you know, this is the place, uh, Custom Ram is the place where two words actually mean something, and that is fuck off. So who got the fuck off here? Did we tell him to fuck off, or did he tell her to fuck off? Oh, he told her to fuck so off. So he got the fuck off. Yeah, and he laughed all the way. To and he the laughed bank. all the way to the yeah, bank because yeah. he knows he already knows the scam that it's going to cost more money yeah. to take to small claims court than it's even worth it. Well, he knew that when he fucked her. Is there anything else that you got to throw? Yeah. Is there anything else you got to throw in there about your college degree action and give us? Some yeah. Well, the guy that they do this, they enjoy it. They do it all day long, and then go have cocktails and talk about it. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Get back to work, loser guy. Earn your steak, bud. Even earn your key. <laughs> And why the fuck hey, are you standing around? Hey, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. You were eating a candy bar. What one? It's going down. Oh, that one's gone. That he was actually a fun ate, size. He ate, he ate four of those, Brandy. Wow. No. He ate four so of those. So you should have plenty of energy to work. Yeah. No, I'm an excellent So man. let me ask you this. Thank you, sir. All right, dude. Can you let the lady talk, please? Can you yes, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So let me ask you this, Brandy. What did you learn? So, I mean, you don't seem like you're really that mad about it. I mean, this happened like a while ago, and when I found out there wasn't really anything I could do about it, mm -hmm. all I can do is tell others. Tell others to watch out? And yeah. Just now, know that. how can they... Hey, loser guy, come on over here behind Brandy, because you might have the answer for this one. Let's get Brandy's opinion, and then we'll get your opinion as well. 
what can you do to avoid this? Being a uh, being a blue collar, hard working class guy, not the not the uh, you know the corporation. What would you say, Brandy, to everybody out there about doing something like you did and not knowing that you probably will get screwed around? Well, I guess just ask questions before you give the fees. Um, did it say on your application no refund? Did you see that? In I didn't block see letters? it anywhere, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't there. So, what would you tell anybody out there? Uh, that was going to go fill applications out, what would you say to them? Um, I guess just... Uh, not much, really, right? Not much, just check references. Not <laughs> there much you, you go. Thank do. you, uh, Brandy. You can put a cork in that one. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the college yeah, angle. Let's get the college well, angle on okay. that and see what you say. The bad news is the game's rigged. There's nothing you can do about it. The game's yeah. rigged. It's like one hey. of those clocks. So it's kind of hey, like hey, a roulette hey. wheel. You throw the well, dice out there and hope that your number... Uh, turns up and hope they don't keep your 80 bucks and you get it applied to the first month's rent. Am I right? Yeah. No, it's a one time fee. If you don't want it, if you, the only way to avoid it is not to rent. Oh, hold on a minute. Stop right there. It's not a one time fee because if she goes to some other uh, land owner fucking yeah. place, she's going to have to pay the other $80. One time and it's just going to keep going on per, and on and per, on. Per, per, per credit app. That's right. Yeah, hey, one time fee. That's know, right. You know, another yeah. thing, so. Uh, Every, every time yeah. they run her credit yeah. deal, she's losing points, dude. Her credit score. That's right. Did you understand that? Did you know that? Yes, I did. So now the credit, <laughs> now the credit company yeah. is screwing yeah. you, Brad. Hey, yeah. but you're, hey, you're getting but screwed from this side, to that end. side, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. I don't even want to say yeah. where. Yeah. Welcome to America. Right, exactly. Hey, easy, bud. Okay. I want to put that on the video. Yeah. All right, Brandy. So what else? That's about it. That's it. So you don't, you're not really mad. You're not getting loud like my friend Pete, but actually you are mad. I'm mad, but I mean, there wasn't anything I could do about Can it. Can you go ahead and finish the video off and say the only two words that matter at Kusarama and as loud as you can? Fuck off! Fuck off! There you go, bud. She said it. Do you want to repeat after her? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Thank you, Brandy. What about you, dude? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> So you see the situation we have now that's an opinion and not just an opinion, but it's actually a fact Okay, there's people out there that are gonna fuck you around and do it any biologically Diabolically planned way that they can because fucking you around is how they make their fucking money Watch your ass count your P's and Q's and say your alphabet about 65 times to make sure that everything's fucking square on the application or whatever you're filling out and hope that you aren't the one that gets fucked in the ass. This is my friend Pete, your friend Pete, telling you to fuck up! Woo!